Good morning, I'm Charlotte McLeod with Diamond Investing News and here today with me is Yanov Marcus, Investment Strategist at Leibish & Co, a supplier of natural fancy colored diamonds of all colors and sizes. So Yanov, in the last six to nine months, the diamond industry has been facing a lot of challenges, particularly low prices. In fact, recently prices paid at De Beers site were quite a lot lower than was expected. Can you tell me about that from your perspective and what do you think is causing these challenges? Hi Charlotte, how are you today? Hi. I think that uh, financing to the industry has been drying up. A lot of banks have been coming out of this industry and so um, all polishing companies are very careful with their money. They're trying to turn it into cash. Um, a lot of the miners have been increasing prices steadily and like you said in the last six to nine months there's a lot of resistance and that causes prices to slowly fall down because then again even the mining companies who are public companies have investors to answer to. So as you saw this month at the beers, um, the total overall uh, available supply was lowered by the beers and they claimed there was a substantial lower in prices but in reality they also lowered some of the quality. But overall, yes, it has been a softening uh, in the industry. Right. So we last spoke in December and you gave us some projections for 2015. I'm just wondering if those projections are still on target or if you've made any changes. Um, I think that in the short term, it's a little bit softer on the projections for the colorless goods. Um, in terms of the fancies, uh, prices are holding steady. Um, we're seeing uh, market resistance because of the pressure of prices going up and buyers are not willing to pay. But eventually they'll understand that fancy coral diamond prices are indeed going up and psychologically they're going to start accepting it and then we're going to go back into an uptrend uh, on, as I predicted on the longer term. Okay. And has Leibish been affected by market sentiment at all? or? You know, it's it's uh, markets usually buy on emotions, you know, and people are uncertain. Um, definitely, we see uh, uh, some resistance into buying some fancy car diamonds. But again, um, as a company as a whole, we look at the long term uh, overall of fancy car diamonds. So every once in a while, there's a bump on the road, um, and uh, we continue to develop. Yeah. Okay, and is there anything particular you've been doing to cope with those challenges? Well, there's a lot more jewelry in demand in the market rather than loose. So we've been concentrating on developing our jewelry line. We've launched a lot of fantastic and beautiful collections this year. So that concerned the consumer uh, side. In terms of the <clears throat> invest, you know, we're strongly believing that a lot of the fancy cars are for investment purposes. There's a, been a lot of demand, and just recently we launched uh, an ebook, like an educational uh, book that people can read, uh, very light, very graphical. It can show you, um, you know, the history of diamonds, where the market is, and basically it's an introduction to the investment in fancy color diamonds. And people, you know, they want to read it on their own time, and they can do that, and then they can, you know, contact us for questions. Okay, and they're responding well to that. Um, we've been we've been uh, watching the downloading of the ebook and it has been increasing since we launched it just a few weeks back um, and we know that it would take a little bit of time before they contact us usually you know people like to read it at their own leisure time they like to review it they like to think about it and once they're ready you know they'll ask the questions and there's you know there's going to be an action but definitely on the long term we see um, the investment community more involved. Um, yesterday and before yesterday in Geneva, you know, prices for diamonds and even precious gems have been breaking records again. Um, and and we don't see it stopping on a long-term basis. Okay, great. Um, thank you so much for joining me this morning. It's a lot of good information. And that's all from me. Thank you, Charlotte.